Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Divya Madan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So continuing the series of food and medicine, today's ingredients is chocolate. We all love chocolate, especially when we were kids and we used to get chocolates whenever we did well in our exams or performed exceedingly well in some area of our lives. Until now, when we are adults, we indulge on chocolate sometimes whenever we are feeling low or when... Uh, something good happens you give chocolates also right so how chocolate exactly works why everyone lo loves chocolate right so let's talk about the neuroscience and chocolate intersection and without further ado let's get started with this video so first of all chocolates they have a really active compound that is phenylethylamine this phenylethylamine releases the endorphins and serotonin in our brain the endorsin, endorphins make us feel high they give us that happy high and serotonin is the happy hormone that instantly lifts up your mood that's why eating a bite of chocolate makes you feel good about yourself secondly why do we gift chocolates right these chocolates make release of dopamine in your brain this dopamine is involved in the reward system of your brain so you feel pleasure and the reward after eating this chocolate and this is the only reason why they are addictive too because you want to feel that pleasure again and again and that's why you crave chocolates at times so that you have that dopamine release in your brain also sometimes it is said that eating chocolates improve your memory improve your focus so the theory behind this is that Chocolates have flavonoids. These flavonoids are antioxidants and they increase the blood flow in your brain. By increasing the blood flow, they are thought to improve your focus, your memory and sometimes that's why uh, students indulge in chocolates during their exam time. Right? But further studies are needed to know at what extent this increase in the cognitive function is there. So don't indulge on chocolates and think like you will top the exams. There are further studies are required to know how much level of cognitive uh, improvement is there after eating chocolates because of the flavonoids in it. Now coming on to the bad side of chocolates. The pure chocolate, the pure cocoa is very bitter and all the chocolates you eat they have some percentage of that original chocolate and to make it palatable they add sugar they add milk fats and most of the time we don't eat dark chocolate right we eat milk chocolate only this is milky nutty chocolate right we eat milky nutty chocolates because they are hyper palatable and apart from that cocoa we are having we are having fats and we are having sugars which are actually very bad for us right so chocolates are to be consumed very in very moderate amounts in your diet and you should not at all binge on them because they have um, some drawbacks also because to make them palatable we add sugars and fats in it so that's it for today's video indulge in chocolates whenever you want to but make sure you have them in a balanced amount in your diet and you exercise as well so that's it for today's video bye bye see you next time with another food and link with the medicine